Well, it's Thursday, it's time for a video. And you know what I thought I would do this time is I'm gonna put together a series, which I've never done before, and I thought it'd be fun to try. I recently just finished teaching a course on magnetism, and it seems like the magnetic math is kind of what screws people up. So what we're gonna be doing over the next few weeks is I'm gonna go through these magnetic terms and then go over the math behind them. They're really easy, they're gonna be quick videos, as my videos always tend to be, so like five minutes and we're gonna go over them. We're gonna talk about ampere turns, flux density, we'll talk about permeability, reluctance, um, all that fun stuff. So this video though is gonna concentrate on, wait for it, magnetomotive force. So what we'll do is we're gonna hop on downstairs, I'm gonna throw on the whiteboard and we're gonna talk about exactly what ampere turns are, how magnetomotive force relates to electricity and we'll go from there. So I'll see you down on the whiteboard. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hop into the whiteboard. I've got some drawings set up here. I've got some different uh, calculations worked out. So what we're gonna do is, as we always do, it's gonna be quick, easy. I'm just gonna walk through a basic understanding of what this principle is and then show you the math behind it. Again, not as difficult as some might let you believe. Okay, so let's hop into the whiteboard now. So here we go. What we've got here is our coil. And I've got it around an air core right now. So let me show you what I mean by that. Here's my core. It's just that right now I just got it drawn as an arrow. Here's my coil here. So you see the arrows, that's the direction of current. So current's flowing through this. As current flows through there, through these coils, it creates magnetic lines of flux that end up linking together. And they end up rotating in a north to south rotation, which is what's happening here. And I'll be doing a video up on the um, how that whole north to south thing works using your left hand. It's gonna be like a left hand rule kind of thing. Anyways, back to this. So that's how it's, it's all based. It's all based off of the fact that we have a certain amount of current flowing through a certain amount of coils. So what does that mean? Let's take a look. So here we have, again, a coil drawn up. So I've got current would flow through here, around, around, and then out and on. That's setting up some magnetic lines of flux in there. The first thing we need to do is we're gonna talk about our formula. FM, which is a fancy way of writing magnetomotive force. Now it is, magnetomotive force is to magnetism as EMF or electromotive force is to electricity, which is to mean it's it's kind of like the source of the voltage, the source of the magnetism. This is the, the pressure that puts out the magnetic lines of flux, just like EMF was that that pressure, not that pressure, sorry, that that energy that pushed the current through the circuit. So this is MMF, but we call it FM. Now it's a pretty easy formula. N, which is your number of turns, times your amps. Our unit for this would be surprisingly ampere turns. So as an example here, I've got three turns, because I do one, two, three, and let's say I've got 10 amps flowing through the circuit. Well, what is my magnetomotive force or my FM? All I would do is plug in what I know, three times 10, and in this case, my answer would be 30 ampere turns. Okay, so that's not that tricky, right? Like once you get the idea that it's just based off of amps and turns and that they're directly proportional, if I increase the amount of my turns, my MMF goes up. If I increase the current through my turns, my MMF goes up. So once you get your head wrapped around that, it's a really easy formula. But let's take another look at our whiteboard here. I'm just gonna fool around with some things, okay? So down here, I got more. I, I got rid of that three turns and now I've got more. I've got 200 turns and I've got 960 ampere turns. So I have my FM at this point. I know that I've created 960 ampere turns. With 200 turns, I'm trying to figure out what is my current going through this? Well, again, we just plug in what we know in the formula. We know that our FM is 960. We know that we've got 200 turns, which is right here. And we're trying to calculate out what our current is. It just easily becomes divide this out. And what do you do to one side of the equation? You do the other. So I is equal to 960 divided by 200, which gets us the 4.8 amps. So now we now know that we have 4.8 amps flowing through this circuit with 200 turns that gives us 960 ampere turns. 
again, it's always about how you get the formula written out. Always write out your formula, then figure out what you have. And then from there, you can figure out what you need. And you can manipulate that formula, transpose it, and change it around to get exactly what you're looking for. Let's do another example. In this case here, I've got my magnetomotive force, 1480 ampere turns. My current is 8 amps, but I don't know how many turns I have. Here's the formula. So let's plug in what we know. 1480 is equal to, we don't know the number of turns, but we do know the 8. So to get our current, again, we're just dividing. So we move that formula around and we've worked out that the current is going to work out to be 1480 divided by 8. In this case, that works out to be 185 turns. All right, so again, just plug in the formula you have, write that out, plug in the numbers that you know, and calculate from there what you need to know. Let's do one more example. Okay, in this example here, we have turns, we have the magnetomotive force, but we're looking for the current. So we're going back to that old chestnut. We figured out, we plugged in what we know, 7,500 FM, 600 number of turns, don't know the current. So it looks to me like the current is gonna be this divided by this, 7,500 divided by 600, which is exactly what the formula works out to be. In this case, our current works out to be 12.5 amps. So there you have it. That's, that's magnetomotive force in a nutshell. It's not that difficult. It's measured in ampere turns and it is directly proportional to the amount of turns you have and the amount of current flowing through it. More current always means more flux, right? By adding more turns there, we end up linking more flux lines, which allows us to have more flux as well. And I see that my cat is in the background running around. So he's uh, making a cameo here. That's Oreo. Okay, so that's magnetomotor force. Next week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about reluctance. And reluctance is to magnetism as resistance is to electricity. So you can imagine it's very similar, all right? If you have any questions, hit me in the comments below. If you're into it, give me a thumbs up if you like this, if you found it a value. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I'm up for that as well. And if you're finding value out of these, hit the subscribe button. All right, we'll see you next week. Have a great week, everyone. Stay classy.